Hey YouTube, good morning. Anthony here with a review today, a uh, tabletop review on my Gold Zero Boulder 15 solar panel that you see on the left. And what I'm going to do in this video is basically take you through some specs on this solar panel, go over a few things that are in the, um, you know, the directions that it comes with. Uh, to the right of the solar panel is my Yeti 150 battery pack that I have a few videos on and that goes hand in hand with this solar panel. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then the magazine you see uh, below that is the um, magazine that I highlighted in a video a couple of weeks ago. It's like a prepping magazine and uh, show you the cover. The name of it is Off Grid Magazine. There's also a sister magazine called Recoil. Um, and there's a scenario in this magazine, this uh, the issue that I have, uh, with it uh, that depicts a power outage, and we're going to do some videos on that uh, scenario and see what the YouTube viewers would do if faced with the scenario in this magazine. So that's a later video, but I wanted to show everything together because when the power goes down, guys, it's too late to go out and buy your Goal Zero solar panel your Yeti 150 battery pack or similar items. So getting back to the Boulder 15 panel, that panel will charge several Goal Zero items. The Escape 150, the Sherpa 50, um, and then I have the Yeti series. Uh, this is the Yeti 150. They make a 400 watt unit and then they make a 1250, which is the big, the big boy. <clears throat> Hopefully, I'll be able to get the 1250 someday. Uh, this solar panel is rated at 15 watts. Its cell type is monocrystalline. It's an open circuit voltage, 18 to 20 volts. Uh, it has a solar port, uh, 12 volt charging port that you see um, with the six foot cable that it comes with right there. And what I did with the Yeti 150, the Yeti 150 comes with this little uh, toggle cable that goes into the input of the Yeti 150. You see it's color coded so you can't make a mistake. So that's the power input and then this would connect with the Boulder 15 and then give you right there uh, I think it's up to six feet. So you could put the panel outside and also have the unit inside. So you, you have that option. Um, and again, this panel, we'll do some close-ups of it at the end. It's got um, heavy rated glass covering on it. It's got a nice aluminum frame. The nice thing about all the Goal Zero panels is you can click them together in series. Uh, I think this one you could do up to 10 Boulder 15s in series and therefore increase your charge times on... Um, the uh, battery pack that you're trying to charge. The I'll put the links to the uh, Yeti 150 and how long it takes to charge, but approximately uh, 10 to 20 hours uh, to recharge the Yeti 150 if it was down to zero. My uh, plan is not to let it ever go down to zero, uh, to have it hooked up and charging uh, while I'm even using it. So that's one thing you have to think of. There are bracket holes uh, around the uh, Boulder 15 that allows you to clip the panels together. And then again, you could chain them together uh, for um, more power. I'll flip it over in just a minute. You can see the back of it. Um, <clears throat> let's see, I just wanna make sure I cover everything here. Uh, the Boulder 15 is waterproof and rugged and terrain resistant. Um, the Boulder 15 can be used to power Goal Zero, any Goal Zero batter, Goal Zero power pack. It delivers up to 15 watts of power, but the angle of the panels and the cloud coverage can impact its performance. Avoid the shade; it will not work indoors. So this panel has should be in direct sunlight. Um, it says, "Will the Boulder Zero, will the Boulder 15 break?" The answer: Not easily. It was made to last, but try to avoid heavy impact that can weaken the frame and cause the glass to crack. <clears throat> so that's off the, um, the user's guide that uh, 
I have here that I read off of. So what we'll do uh, now is I'll, I'll give you some shots of the panel up close uh, so you could see it, but I wanted you to see it together uh, with the Yeti 150 because right now that this is my setup. Um, and yesterday when I got the panel, uh, my idea was, um, well, if I can't put the panel outside safely, in other words, I'm in an urban environment, something happens in SHTF, yeah, I could probably hide the panel somewhere out in the bushes, point it towards the sun, but if I couldn't go outside or have it outside, what would I do next? Well, the next best thing is uh, to put it in a window. So in my bathroom, uh, I it fits nicely right in the window there. Um, the sun is there for several hours during the day. And what I did last night was I hooked it up to the boulder, to the uh, Goal Zero Yeti 150. Put the Yeti 150 on the back of the toilet bowl, put the panel in the window, and lo and behold, the battery input right here showed that it was charging. So that's one of my other options, to put it in a window and or um, inside, the, inside the house in front of the sliding door, harness the sun from inside, and still charge my device. So there's different options you could have. I just wanted to bring that up that it does work and I'll there'll be future videos on this to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's take a look at the um, construction of this Boulder 15. All right guys, this is just the front of the panel. I wanted to give you some close-ups of the um, monocrystalline that they use here that's behind a nice hard uh, glass. Again, you have the aluminum frame around it and you're looking at uh, probably about an inch thickness and these little slots you see are the areas where you would clip these uh, boulder 15 panels together and there are a few videos on <clears throat> youtube however not that many that i saw that show these and how to clip them together so when i get my next panel i will do a video showing how to uh, clip these together I did not give you the um, dimensions on this. I'll give it in just a moment. But I know it's about three and a half pounds, the weight of it, of the panel. Now, Goal Zero, incidentally, also makes a, um, a tripod that holds several of these together. It angles and rotates. And so if you had, say, four of these, where now you have, you know, 60-watt system, um, you can hook them on the tripod and then put the tripod outside. You know, say you're in a remote location or in your vehicle uh, bug out situation, you could still charge your devices and power up things um, with that tripod very efficiently. Uh, there's your little port. And again, these ports have, here's where you would, let me give you a shot here, right here is where you would chain the next one into this one and simply plug it in in series just like this and put them together that in that format. All right guys, here's um, the general information on it. It's um, 3.5 pounds or 1.5 kilograms dimensions, 11 inches wide, 18 inches high, by one inch in thickness. Okay, so that's the uh, size of the unit in case you couldn't get a good uh, feel for the size of it. Um, I'm gonna end this video. This is just a tabletop video. Next videos we do, we'll show the actual system hooked up, uh, show it charging, show how I plan to deploy it, uh, whether from my uh, home or, or from my vehicle. Um, but. When the power is out and that big what if happens and you wake up to a scenario of no power, at least with something like this, you'll be sure you'll be able to charge um, your uh, radios, uh, weather radios, uh, cell phones, iPads, even some small uh, laptops with this Yeti 150. Um, and also run a series of lights uh, like the Light of Life that I have a video on that goes with this system and give yourself light uh, at night.
So with the USB ports, the 12 volt car ports, uh, and the plug, the AC plug, you've got most of your bases covered for small devices. Now again, as you go up with the Yetis into say the 400 or the 1250, you know, the 1250 you're looking at powering a 12 volt refrigerator, maybe some fans, a TV, uh, you could do a lot more with that unit um, and sustain yourself and charge uh, more devices. So again, but that unit is, um, you know, over a thousand dollars. So um, video today, tabletop review, goal zero, Boulder 15 panel and can um, couple together with my Yeti 150. Thanks for joining me, guys. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Anthony signing off. Stay ready.